if you have an inequality radical, a radical inequality, the only thing we have to, we have to have one more step. If we have an even root, like square root, fourth root, sixth root, we know we can't take the square root of a negative number. So you have to make sure what's inside is non-negative. If it's an odd root, then we, we just keep on going like we do. We solve it and we check. So let's take a look here. Notice on example five, I've got a square root. So I know 5x minus 10 must be greater than or equal to zero, otherwise you can't do it. So 5x would be greater than or equal to 10. Divide both sides by five, x has to be greater than or equal to two. Now let's solve the inequality like we normally would. So I'm gonna minus three from both sides. And so then we get the square root of five x minus 10 is less than five. Let's square both sides. So we get five x minus 10 is less than 25. We're gonna add 10 to both sides. So we're gonna get 5x is less than 35. Let's divide both sides by 5. So x, whoops, my brain went to the answer instead of doing the multiplication, divided by 5. So x is less than 7. Now, so x is less than 7 and or I should say less than or equal to seven, forgot my line underneath there. So X is less than or equal to seven and X is greater than or equal to two. So we're gonna say it's between those two. So my solution is gonna be between two and seven. So now let's check our work. Let's pick a number between two and seven. Well, I like five. So let's x, let x equals five. So is three plus the square root of five times five minus 10, is that indeed less than or equal to eight? Well, let's find out. Five times five is 25. So 25 minus 10 is 15. So I got three plus the square root of 15 is less than or equal to eight. Well, if I wanna compare these, I'm gonna change the square root of 15 into a decimal. Let's see here. I don't know what I did there, sorry about that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to take the square root of 15. That's about 3.87. So 3, I don't know why I had a minus there. It's just supposed to be a plus. 3 plus the square root of 15, or 3 plus, what did I just say? My brain went blank, is 3.88. That's less than or equal to eight. So it's 6.88 is less than or equal to eight. It checks. Let's say, let's check to see that our outside numbers don't work. Let's pick a number bigger than seven. So let's pick X equals 10 and see what happens when we put in 10. So if I go three plus the square root of five times 10 minus 10, is that less than or equal to eight? Well, five times 10 is 50. Forgot my plus sign again there. Keep on forgetting that. Three plus the square root of 50 minus 10. So 50 minus 10 is 40. 
Let's change 40 to a decimal. We'll take the square root of 40. The square root of 40, whoops, or 44. Square root of 40 is about 6.32. So 3 plus 6.32, is that less than or equal to 8? No, it's 9.32, which is less than or equal to 8, which that's false, and that's what we want it. It's not, if you pick a number bigger than 7, it's not a solution. So our solutions are going to be between 2 and 7. 